Leo ni siku ya baraka. Unavyoona mtazamaji wangu nimepata mgeni mwingine hapa. Eh kuna baridi dada. No it's not cold, it's warm. It's warm, right? Yeah. <laughs> Hata si ongei. Wacha aseme tu jina lake tuendelee kutoka hapo. Valentine Wanjiro. Valenti Wanjiro Kamau hapa ni Marekani hii ni jimbo la Washington na hii ni runinga ya TV ya uh, okay this is Craft TV on YouTube. Runinga ya Craft TV katika YouTube na tuko katika jimbo la Washington katika mji wa Kent. Kent uko hapo muda gani? Well, I'm from Tacoma actually. I just drove here to go to the Hey. Apparently, uh, Rafiki is the place to be when you're in Washington. And when Jiro drove all the way, that's like 25 miles. Uh, 25 miles? 18 miles. 18 miles. 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 25. 18 miles times 16. So, like 30, 35 kilometers away. And she drove here to come and enjoy Kenyan foods, Kenyan delicacies, and meet Kenyans. Mimi ni Kenya. Na najibunia kuwa mkenya. Je, wewe? Najibunia kuwa mkenya? There's athletics happening in Oregon, just nearby here, our neighboring city. It's going on now? No way. Are you serious? When did it start? Are you serious you don't know about Omanyala? I'm not on social media, so like I miss a lot of things. You had better start knowing what's going on in your country, man. You're, you're right. I'm gonna forget. It's gonna be So, it's also not uh, unusual for people not to be knowing what is happening yeah. just next door here. Mm -hmm. This is the US, and things are really fast. People are occupied. <laughs> general elections in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Presidential, governorship, mm -hmm. senate, mm -hmm. member of parliament, mm -hmm. women rep, mm -hmm. member of the county assembly. Mm -hmm. I think I'm more interested in the president. The president's right? Because that has the most influence. Yeah. Do you know how many presidential candidates you have this year? I know of three. I don't know if there's more. Uh, which one do you know? I know Raila, Raila Baba. Baba, and Mama, Ruto, Ruto, uh, Kenya Kwanza. No, I'm not going to be a man. 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 I'm not going to be a and this is Mwaure, Mwaure. Oh, who has fights sometimes in the past. He is he, he, an advocate okay. of the High Court of Kenya, he is our king. But meanwhile, in a quiet way, you don't even know so much about uh, who is this guy? Wajakoya. Wajakoya. Like I said, because. He's the buzz of online, what do you mean? No, I know, but I'm not. On social media. I'm not, sorry. yeah. So, Nastianga, two story now, what? Like after story Shakwa Shakwa famous Naikaisha, Fandaskia rumors, but I so yeah I need to join social media so that I catch up with everything. Kukua Muzalendo lazima ufuati ni mambo na pani kakenya. Anyhow, there is a there is a. I'm not going to ask you directly who you are supporting, but certainly you need to say something about. Democracy na maungozi, democracy and leadership in Kenya. What can you say now in the view of the what they are saying now mm -hmm. is about hustlers, what mm -hmm. to chini, what we chini, and the dynasties. What to have had the uongozi tangu ukoloni tangu uhuru wa Kenya. Na wale wamekuwa kiongoza ndio wale wale. Wale wamekuwa kinyanyaswa ni wale wale. What can you say about that? Okay, I think, for example, Baba and Ruto, these are leaders who have been in power for a long time, right? I don't think 
we can say that we see anything significant they have done for their people in whatever role they played. Raila was once he was once a prime minister, right? Yeah. And Ruto has been a vice president and I think minister. Minister Colonel, yeah. yeah. Member of member of parliament for long. Yeah. Uh, he was also a government minister in cabinet mm -hmm. and he was He's, he's deputy president for 10 years now. Yeah. So, these people, I want to say, I personally do not know any big thing that Ruto has done or Raila has done for me. So, people might think someone like Ojakaya is crazy, but at the end of the day, who knows? Maybe. Okay, now I'm going to be that. He's the one who can actually do something. For the country, right? Cause they, yeah, because we keep choosing the same people and they keep doing the same things. And so it's like. I don't know, maybe the crazy one or the one who people think is crazy is the one who needs a chance because he can relate to people. Who knows? Uh, the biggest thing about Japan now, which has made him uh, the buzz mm -hmm. item on internet, is mm -hmm. because of cannabis right. weed. Right. Weed is legal here. Right. And I think it is the high time people here and other countries started talking about weed. Like in serious conversation about yeah, weed. Yeah. In the proper way. Yeah. Because this country, the US, has jailed people for very long mm -hmm. because of smoking weed, weed. Mm -hmm. and selling weed mm -hmm. and trading in weed and drink anything, anything to do with weed. weed. Mm -hmm. But now the same way they jail people for long mm -hmm. is legal. Right. You can do in a Uzo. Right. As long as you can ID, you can know a band of Vienna. Yeah. So what I think about Kenyans talking about what Jafoe as though he's coming from outer space, he's not coming from outer space. He's not. I think the problem is in Kenya, we kind of shy to talk about things that are reality. Like for example, weed in Kenya is a taboo. Right? I find it's a that. taboo. If yeah. anyone knows to smoke weed, any it's like you've killed someone. It's yeah, yeah. The, almost the worst thing you can do. Almost the worst thing you can do. You have to be known as a weed smoker no, it's not it's not it's but at the end of the day it happens so i feel like it should be talked about it's just like alcohol hey, yes. alcohol is a, it's a drug right yeah but it's legal but there's people who drink alcohol in moderation and then there's drunkards and alcoholics right so i think it's the same with people i think if you have a conversation about weed instead of shining it, it can be like yeah educate people about weed and let them know that just like any drug if you use it too much, but it's in moderation. Well, at least uh, here in America, when it is uh, something presidential, they talk about this guy does not look presidential enough. Mm -hmm. At least of the four candidates running now, mm -hmm. all of them are presidential. Mm -hmm. But what Japoya stands out mm -hmm. as presidential in his own way, mm -hmm. he is the most educated among them. Mm -hmm. Actually, he's the most learned because actually he's a learned friend. Mm -hmm. He's a professor in law. Mm -hmm. But then look at what they're doing. Exactly. So we are, we are talking about dynasties. We're talking about hustlers. Mm -hmm. But the real issues that concern what could have an impact on you mm -hmm. are not being discussed. They're being right. pushed aside. Yeah. There is the issue of corruption in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Kenya Kwanza is led by William Bruto, who they say is a suspect mm -hmm. in corruption deals. Mm -hmm. There is a uh, Azimiola Moja led by Raila Odinga and they have Mata Karu as the prime minister and they are saying as though now Kenya is going to be free from corruption with Mata Karu in government mm -hmm. as the GP. Mm -hmm. What do you think about women leadership and particular mm -hmm. Mata Karu, she is a strong woman. Mm -hmm. uh, I think women in leadership is good, it's encouraged. Uh, Mother Karua has been a family student and she's very headstrong. She's like a, a symbol of a strong woman. Or if you want to give examples of strong women, she's one of the people who have mentioned, just like Mama and Mother, right? But at the end of the day, aside from her being a woman, she's still a leader. And like you said, corruption is an issue and leaders are known to be the biggest culprits of it. And so at the end of the I don't know whether okay. she's different, but I would say probably not. Probably not, but who knows? Uh, I have to remind you also mm -hmm. that Mata Karwa is not the president. Yeah. He's going to be the deputy president, mm -hmm. assuming their collision wins. Right. And you see what has happened with the president? 
now and his deputy, they differed big time. Yeah. Even their wives, the first lady and the second lady, do not see each other eye to eye. But there are many The first lady came on the guys. You say hi to the second lady. That's how bad things are. Yeah, what are the challenges that the mother can to be effective in government? Even that is what they are doing. Somebody, they remember President Kenyatta and William Ruto suffered uh, from the consequences of the violence in Zimbabwe. They went to their hair. The worst violence, cyber violence in Kenya has been between the Kikuyus and the Kalejins. They were able to stop all that. What are the chances that Mother Karo is going to be effective as deputy president to mm -hmm. say the things they're doing? Mm -hmm. Or she's being used as a yeah. decoy to mm -hmm. get somebody into power yeah. Yeah. and then that's that is it. Exactly, yeah. that's, that's it. Because let's say she's good, let's say she's genuine. But at the end of the day, does she have power? No. There's someone else who is running the show, right? So at the end of the day, when she gets into that position, as long as the person above her, the president, is doing malicious things. She's not gonna have the power to do anything. She's overpowered, right? So no matter how good her intentions are, it doesn't matter. As long as we get a president who is not genuine about leading and about bringing change to Kenya, then we are all good at the end of it. This is Trap TV. My name is Kaka, and guess who happened into the scene today on our camera? This young lady here who. I'm so impressed. I can't believe we have this type of Kenyans here. Why? What do you mean? You look like so young. Like I don't yeah. think you would, you would be able to do this kind of debate. It's a political debate, ma. Yeah, and I don't even like follow politics that much, but yeah. look at how you're doing. You're doing very well. <laughs> now, this is Washington. And this is the United States, and this is the diaspora. What do you think uh, the government should do about the diaspora community? At least we are in the free world, mm -hmm. we are in the West, we are mm -hmm. in the US. Mm -hmm. There is something happening all the time in the Middle East, mm -hmm. in Asia, concerning mm -hmm. Kenyans and Africans. What do you think the government should do about the diaspora? Mm -hmm. You mean like the Kenyans who go to work in the Middle East? Yes. Uh, I, think, I think it boils down to the same issue. This, the people who are responsible, or the government officials who are responsible for taking care of Kenyans abroad, still corruption, they are selfish people, they don't care, at the end of the day it's about money, so as long as they get money in their pockets, they will betray, they betray us, right, they're supposed to serve us, but they don't, just like the Middle East, the things that have, I know, there's, I'm pretty sure there's government officials who are responsible for protecting Kenyans in places like that, but they're not being protected, why is that, probably because they have something to gain. Maybe they're being bribed by the government there, like, because they need workers, right? They get workers from Kenya. And if people keep complaining and being shipped back home, what happens? They get a shortage in labor. So who knows, what if they're being bribed in order to ignore the cries of Kenyans there so that the supply of Kenyans increases? Because those people need workers. So who knows? So I think at the end of the day, it boils down to the same thing. It's all about money in Kenya, and that needs to change. That is called conspiracy theory. <laughs> no one will ever prove nothing. No one will ever deny anything effectively. And we are going to be taken round and round all the time. That's true. That's the worst that happened this time, yeah. I am... I realized we didn't notice that this update is going on in Oregon mm -hmm. just here. Mm -hmm. The fastest man in Africa yeah. is called Ferdinand Omanyala, mm -hmm. is Kenyan. Mm -hmm. And corruption mm -hmm. denied him a visa in good time mm -hmm. because the Minister of Officials and the people for Athletics Kenya yeah. were handing in the list of names to be awarded visas at the embassy right kiss me right they start by bringing their friends and cronies to the right. u.s right people are already in america mm -hmm. the fastest in america mm -hmm. the fastest man in africa mm -hmm. is stranded in kenya in kenya right without a visa right and people who are in america already are coming to hear this person uh -huh. that's how shameful it has been no it's really it's really shameful it's really really shameful because i don't know and that's 
nepotism. That's the same thing that, that's happening with jobs. People are going to school, but the people in power are hiring their, their daughters and sons to get this. And people who are actually qualified are walking the streets jobless because of favorism, corruption, nepotism. And it's shameful because the roots of it is very, very deep in Kenya. The roots of corruption, and, you know? So the fact that it extends to such a critical level where an athlete, a recognized athlete, is not able to go to travel because some corruption happened, that should show you how serious it is. Because they're not even trying to hide it. It is not shameful. It's not the first time. Right. 2016 in Brazil, in Rio, mm -hmm. the same kind of thing happened. Right. So this is 2016, shame. No, it's 2022, shameful. again. It's very shameful. But now, before I ask you whether you are Kenya Kwanza or you are Azimio, mm -hmm. whether you are Raila or Ruto, mm -hmm. something has been promised. Mm -hmm. Azimio is going to be a continuation of what is happening now. Because Azimio is Baba or Azimio is Baba. Okay. They are promised they are going to be a continuation of what is happening now. What is happening now? What is happening now? What is happening now? What is happening now? In the, the athletic. The system. The system, the way it is. It's going to continue. It's going to continue. Okay. Quite a nile. Okay. Quite a nile. Okay. And then there is the Hustler Nation, mm -hmm. which is promising as the opposite of this, mm -hmm. or just some change from this. Uh, they, have, they have their weaknesses. So that's super, okay. yes. Okay. So now, mm -hmm. I didn't intend to influence you on this, mm -hmm. but if you were in Kenya, mm -hmm. would you have voted Ruto or Raila? Neither. Are you a Jacoya? I probably would. I probably would. Well, Jacoya, you need to see me aside. Okay. It can't be like this. No, no, here. I probably would because, like I said, Raila and Ruto, what are they going to do different? We don't know these people. We've had rumors about things they've done, so at the end of the day, no, I would rather choose someone else and take a chance on them, even if I don't know what they're capable of, than choosing the evil that I know. I would rather try someone else, it might be good or bad, than choosing the bad that I know is bad. Kenya, you have been told. We already know. Ruta is bad. Raila is bad. We don't know what Jacoya. Yeah, we don't, we don't know him. We don't know Moure either. This lady here would rather be left. Not Raila, not Ruto, not any of those, but mm -hmm. someone else. Someone Probably new. those. Two. Yeah, yeah, give someone new a chance and see. Yeah. Not work. This is Kenya, my dear. Exactly. It won't work because people will keep choosing the same people and then we keep complaining about the same bullshit. And it's like, okay, what do you want? If you keep making the same mistakes, same leaders, nothing is going to change. We keep seeing the same songs. Find someone. So that's on us, Kenya. We keep doing the same things, but like I said, and, uh, keep doing the same thing the same way. And expecting a different result. Different results. Kenya, you have your sister here. This is Kaka. I'm Kenyan, and this is Wanjiro Kamau. Wanjiro Kamau says, if she were in Kenya, she wouldn't vote Azimio. She wouldn't vote Kenya Kwanza. She already knows about you. Yeah. You're not good for Kenya. We know about you, mm -hmm. so to go for someone else, not either of you. We have to the end the show here, and uh, we'll invite you another day because I realize you're a very good debater. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, I'll see you again. Yep. Closing remarks as I go to the other side of the camera because now. Mm -hmm. That was explosive. It was. Good job, man. Nice. I liked it. <laughs> Uh, the is election. We should remember that we are the ones who have the most to lose if things go south. We are the ones who have to live in Kenya. We are the ones who have to live with the damage that we do. So let's not do any damage because it's not worth it.